Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we're going to be covering what's new in Windows Server 2025. We'll be talking about server itself, as well as any changes made to the features in Windows Server. Before we get started with this video, if you're interested in purchasing Windows Server 2025, remote desktop licenses, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put links down below. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so I jotted down some bullet points here. We've got about 10 slides. We're just going to cover some of the biggest changes that have been made to server 2025. All right, so starting off, this is a big one here. We have hot patching for security updates. So if you're not familiar with the term, rather than having to uh, shut down the server and then run your updates and do your patching, you can actually patch the server and run these updates with the server still running without having to stop or shut down. So this is gonna help to lessen that downtime and just make things more efficient overall. Now, another thing we have is NVMe and NVMe over Fabrics support. So we're seeing optimized support for some of these storage devices. And we know NVMe, OF in particular provides significantly improved storage performance. And we can see up to a 70% increase. Uh, we also have storage enhancements. So we'll find new features in the resilient file system as well as storage spaces direct and enhanced support for deduplication and compression. Next up, we have SMB over QUIC. So the quick protocol is essentially replacing uh, TCP, which is inherently encrypted and does not require a VPN. Next up, we have Active Directory page sizing improvements. Now here we have enhancements to Active Directory improve its performance and scalability, making it more efficient for large scale deployments. And this is a new update method that will allow admins to receive and install Windows Server updates through an in-place upgrade. We've done some in-place upgrades on the channel. If you're not familiar with that process. It's basically like an upgrade to the OS without losing any data. So we call that an in-place upgrade. And the alternative is a clean installation where you completely wipe all data and start from scratch. So this is gonna help admins run these server updates via this method. And again, we're looking at better optimization and efficiency. SMB signing is now enabled by default, enhancing the security of SMB communications by protecting against relay and man in the middle attacks. Now we also have the SMB auth rate limiter. This is basically a mechanism to throttle bad login attempts. So we'll see overall enhanced security with this feature. Now we're back to compression and deduplication. Both of these features are enhanced and have better capabilities. This is especially beneficial for virtual machines and backup storage. And that's a lot of what we do on this channel. Okay, and then last up, we wanted to cover one of the big updates to remote desktop services. So we're now going to see supports for GPU acceleration for enhanced graphical performance. In the last line, it says this is particularly beneficial for scenarios involving high performance computing and graphics intensive applications. So that's a pretty interesting feature if you're in a situation where you're using remote desktop services in the gaming realm or in the video editing realm or graphic design or anything of that sort. GPU acceleration can make a massive difference in having smooth performance. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for today's video. If you have any questions about any of these slides, drop those in the comment section below, and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Again, if you're interested in purchasing Windows Server 2025, remote desktop licenses, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put links down below. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one.